Make sure he's dead! Hold the guns! Go back and get the presents from the back seat. How you guys doing in school? Great. Oh, great, as usual. As usual? You're not so good. Uh, How are you? <laughs> Look what I got you. Thank uh, you so much. Right. Oh, hey, 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 they're oh, wet. Nice to go almost I have your mother clean you up. What happened with the Woodhouse this morning? That slimy cockroach already called you. Nick, listen to me. You can't kill everyone I do business with. <sighs> you're getting weak. No, you're getting stupid. That's not the way to run a business. How long have you been with me, Alex? Five months. I don't know if you learned anything in the last five months. But today, you're going to learn a good lesson. I, I don't understand, Mr. Kotov. The guy you saw talking this piece of crap was a cop. Trying to make a deal with the DA. My point is, there's a lot of things you can forgive. Being a snitch is not one of them. Get the SUV and clean up this mess. It smells like they made you shit himself. Nikolai, if you disrespect me again, am I clear? Help the kid clean up this mess. Aren't you going with us? What do I do on Sundays? What about the automatics? You got the address. Make the delivery. And Nikolai, don't screw this up. Back it up. Got neighbors, come on. All right, it's good, it's good. Come on, let's go. Take the plastic. Right. Ah. 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 
going to go. We're having lunch after the service. I feel like throwing up. It's all that junk food you've been eating. Dad, that's not it. I told you I wasn't feeling well before we left the house. Are you missing out on that kid? Kid? You know what I'm talking about. Alex. You just give me a break, okay? I have cramps. Go use the bathroom. You'll be fine. Gross. That's not it. I'm getting my period, Dad. I gotta go. Using your back. Uh, Try it. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Somebody identifies the body. You're a funny kid, Alexi. Still stressing about this big pile of worm food? Tough day. It's not even 10 a.m. Uh, shouldn't we get out of here? these guys anyway. I mean, I, why did, why do they need so many assault weapons? Why do you give a shit? Mr. Coat, your brother says that we should consider who we do business with. It shouldn't matter what you know, they do with our product. Yeah, well, my brother can be a boring philosophical dick sometimes. I'm just saying, with all the talk about gun control these days, we... You know, what if we get caught with the automatics and... Oh, you're worried about getting caught? That uh, some prosecutor is going to make an example out of us and he wants to further his political career? It crossed my mind. It's a bunch of political bull. Look at it this way. Drugs are illegal, right? So, you can't get drugs anywhere. I mean, drugs just disappeared as soon as the politicians made them illegal, right? So there you have it. Just make something illegal and then nobody can get their hands on it, right? I mean, especially people less inclined to follow the rules, present company included. No offense. Yeah. Back me up. Hey, hey, hey. It's not worth the decline. Oh, really? A trunk full of guns. A little hard to explain. Officer! Wait, 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 wait! You don't get have back to... in the car! You don't have to get him! Don't have to kill him! <laughs> <laughs>
This is Special Agent Stone. I need an ambulance at 5900 Block of Kyler. Requesting dry clean approval. Doesn't count. What do you mean it doesn't count? I got the ball before you called it. You touched the ball with your hand. You can't do that. Yes, I can. Oh no, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you cannot. Yes, guys, I can. Guys, no, you can't. Guys, guys, I think he's right. You can't do that. You can't call any violations. You're not a real referee. <laughs> Sammy, I can do what I want. It's not a real game. I don't care. I can do what I want. Go in your face, old man. You okay? Are you screeching a little knee here? It's all right. Go put a band-aid on it, okay? Let's go show mama. Come on. If you leave now, you lose. Sammy, you're bigger than these guys. So look after them. Play fair, yeah? Hey, baby, we got a wounded soldier here. Hey, what happened? Just a little scratch. I thought you said you were watching him. He's okay. How can you be so cool? Maybe it's just a little scratch. You know what I mean. Are you okay? No. No, I'm... I'm not okay. Why don't you tell me what's wrong with you, okay? What are you talking about, Linda? I can't do this. Just... It's a year ago today, John! I know. I can't believe you forgot! I did not forget, Linda. Oh, don't lie to me! Of course you forgot! There's not a single day that goes by that I don't think about her. Not a single day. You never talk about her. You never say her name. We talk about her every single no, day. No, don't. Yes, it's we like do. She wasn't here. She That's wasn't not here fair. And I was her mother. You don't talk to me. You don't talk to me. You know, don't you see? You just bury yourself and you work and you just, you just, you ignore what's going on here. It's and not true. You have shut me out, and I, I can't do this alone. I just, I need you, okay? I... I need you to have, I need you to grieve with me. I can't hit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't take that. Linda, we grieved. We grieved and we cried and we talked about life and death. I can't keep doing this. I gotta move on. We gotta move on for him. It's not fair. Sex. <clears throat> what happened? I'll be right there. I gotta go.
kid's pressure me to quit. Maybe you should. Yeah, but not this. They don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> in the car. Come on, look what I got. Look what I got. Whatever. My husband's taking my kids camping this weekend. You mentioned your, uh, your friend's husband's looking for a used car salesman? Mm -hmm. If you could put in a good word for me. I'll ask. Special Agent Thomas. You all right? Look, we ran a four block perimeter check. You're good to go, kiddo. You got your cherry popped by the bad guys, huh? How embarrassing is that? <laughs> You're screwed now, rookie. Hey, shut up, Ron. Hey, come on, partner. The kid needs to be warned. <clears throat> You ever met the Wicked Witch of West L.A.? Jesus, don't listen to him. Witch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. She rides around in a broom. She wears a nice big strap on across her waist and a jar of Vaseline just for you. He's talking about Regional Deputy Commander Miller. She's not all that scary, kid. Oh, she's scary, baby. Hey, kid. Lighten up, huh? Happens to the best of us. Ain't the end of the world. We'll see you inside. It's okay, DC's waiting. What do I need to know? Nikotov's down, cop shot him, Dimitri's dead. I helped get rid of the body. That's a lot of good news. And uh, there's a few dozen automatic weapons in the SUV parked outside. Anything else? Yeah, I think the Kotovs are planning to deliver the weapons to the buyer at 5 p.m. today. It could be Yosef. I, they wouldn't tell me. <sighs> okay, okay, that's the icing, let's go. got a four-star sipping on his Irish coffee right about now, just waiting to wrap his wrinkled hands around my throat and put his arthritic foot up my ass. What the hell happened this morning? Coats of brothers. No. Let him tell it. 20 words or less. 
Coats our brothers doing business with certain persons of interest. Radical sympathizers. Terrorists? Well, they were an eclectic group. Colorful description, John. Can you be a little bit more specific? May I speak freely, ma'am? Oh, by all means, Stone. I'm on the edge of my seat. Stephen Emerson, American-born, changed his name to Yusuf Marshall after being arrested in college for unlawful assembly, applauding Mira Malkanzi for shooting his AK-47 in the cars outside the CIA. No arrest records since then. Sounds like a confused college kid, not some homegrown threat. What does that have to do with what happened this morning? Well, as of this morning, Kotov is in possession of automatic weapons. And he's in communication with Michelle. About what? Scooters. Scooters? Not weapons? Yes, ma'am. I think both. You think? Look, over the last three months, Kotov's car dealership has delivered dozens, I mean, dozens of scooters to Marshall. Is Marshall reselling? Oh, ma'am. Then what do you think he's doing with them, then? He might be planning to launch attack on U.S. soil. Nick ripped off Andre this morning of a few dozen AKs, and I've heard he's delivering them to somebody else. Maybe Marshall. Seriously? Seriously? Scooters and AKs against the United States military. Oh, I can't wait to see how this plays out. Commander, don't underestimate this. Scooters, they're small, easy to maneuver. I think it's a real threat. I think he's following in the footsteps of Kronzi. The anniversary of Kronzi's execution was in November. That's when Marshall started talking to Kota. Far-fetched. You've got two unrelated events with nothing to support your theory. All due respect, man. 9-11 investigation summary clearly cites a lack of linking unrelated bits of information and the failure to take action on available intelligence. Well, thank you, Stone, for that fucking bit of history. You're dismissed. Ma'am, I'm pretty sure the automatics Nick ripped off this morning are headed to Marshalls this afternoon. If that happens, we're faced with a serious national security issue. Pretty sure doesn't make it so. You're dismissed. Alex, give me that file in shell. Yes, sir. Thank you. You gotta admit, I ain't letting summary had you there, Commander. How old is that kid, anyway? 21 or three months. Mm. Well, he should be chasing college ass, not thugs, for crying out loud. Yeah, he should be. You know, we send kids younger than that into Afghanistan, Iraq. They're ready to die for God and country. Los Angeles streets are not the battlefield, John. Come on. Really? They had me fooled. Look, the FBI have some intel going around, something about a plot that takes place in Los Angeles during the rainy season. The intel says something about rainy bullets, I don't know. Either way, the rainy season ends tomorrow, officially. This kid, Alex, if he says these weapons are going to Marshall, I believe him. For Christ's sakes, John, it's just stop playing meteorologist and pull the kid off the case before he gets himself killed. And what do we got to lose, okay? Let's take Marshall out of play. Bring him in for questioning. It's gonna force his handler to step out and finish the job. Think about it. How do you know Marshall has a handler? I mean, from what I'm hearing, this guy's a homegrown, good old American boy who exercises freedom of speech years ago and who hasn't broken any laws as far as I know. You go anywhere near him, and we all go in front of a congressional investigative committee. I know. But I have a feeling on this. A feeling? Yeah, and I expect you to trust me on this. I trusted you before, and we all know how that turned out. Oh, a little below the belt, don't you think? Two agents died. Intel lost. I cut you some slack because your daughter was on her deathbed. Maybe you were too distracted, I thought, but you know, that wasn't it. You know what I think? I think that you are scared of these guys, John. Fuck you, Hillary, okay? Yeah, yeah, you know, I meant that in all due respect, man. All right, all right, let's say you let Alex take the weapons back to cut off and you take Mossal out of play. What if nobody steps up to take delivery of the automatics? Well, then we just squeeze Marshall for more intel. Oh, it's still far-fetched. Oh, come on, think about it. If we let, if we let Kotov deliver those weapons to Marshall, you know as well as I do. He can sit on those weapons for months. The trail ends there, we are done. All right, you 
keep Alex by your side until I clear it with HQ. They're gonna freak when they hear that he was in a shootout with the LA cops. I know. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, listen up, everybody. As of this morning, Nick Kotov is in possession of automatic weapons. And he's signed federal warrant in my hand within the hour. Yeah, you got it. We gotta find out who he walks and talks with. So we need sound and video on this guy. We gotta establish when, where, and to whom he intends to sell these weapons to. Rung, Ken, I need you on ground surveillance on Kotov, okay? Look, time is not on our side on this one, but we, we do have the address for the scooters, which is a start, right? You have the, uh, you have the intel on Marshall? Yes, sir. Thanks. So, Yosef Marshall. I want him in the federal warrant. I want to see him in interrogation by the end of the day. Also, get, get satellite on your cell phone immediately. Make sure wheels are up on air support and that SWAT is locked, loaded, rolling to his last known address. You got a bus. Ron, how close are you to being introduced? Working on it. Okay, good, so work hard, yeah? I'm already in. Ron's gonna get burned in a second. Hey, rookie, show some respect, will you? Kid's right. You know, Kenny, why don't you go screw yourself? Classy. Okay, guys, settle down in my office. Why do you always get burnt, Ronnie boy? Why do you always blow your targets? You're a child. So if I put you back and play with Kota, what's your story? Dumped Dimitri's body, cops rolled up on us. Nick opened up on the cops, just like it happened. Think Kota won't buy them? It's exactly what happened, boss. See, I don't want to be scraping off the pavement this afternoon, Alex. Miller wants me to keep you by my side said until she clears up the shooter with HQ. Yes, sir. You ever been on a SWAT raid? No, sir. Suit up. Yes, sir. Command Center.
sorry, I'm late. Thank you for offering to meet me on a Sunday, Judge. I don't know how I missed the notice letter. It's the least I can do after all the good work you've done on my house over the years. That old structure would have fallen down years ago if it hadn't been for you. <laughs> Besides, you've been patient for 10 years. You shouldn't have to wait one more moment on a technicality. Thank you, Judge. How's your wife? Doris doing well. Thank you. Best wife a man can hope for. My kids? Growing up faster than I can keep up with. <laughs> you guys working Sundays, Judge? Yeah, we shouldn't be more than a half an hour. Is everything all right, Your Honor? Everything's fine. Uh, sir, I'm gonna need to check that before you go through. Of course. in order. <laughs> All right, read from the page. Mm -hmm. Raise your right hand. I, Tariq Akbar, hereby declare on oath. I, Tariq Akbar, hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, state, or sovereignty. All allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, state, or sovereignty. Of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. Of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. that I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law, that I will take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Congratulations. You're a citizen of the United States. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Thank well you. Done. Well done. Well will be very sweet. Big day. Uh, yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? You son of a bitch! That's right. You're a cheating bastard. Take a look. You followed me? Did you know that she has a husband and three kids that I even bother you? Well, you know what? I've got an entire set in the mail right now to your whore's husband. Listen to me. You get a hold of yourself, okay? You know I can't talk about my work. Bullshit, Ron! Bullshit! Fucked her! You fucked her and I was at the motel room! Angie, what are you doing with the gun? Angie, put the gun down. Ken, what are you doing? 
You're pointing a gun at my wife, for Christ's sake. Your ex-wife, you son of a bitch! Angela, put the gun down. Get in the car, Kenny. This does not concern you. Look, I don't know what you think you heard, okay? But I did not touch that woman. <laughs> what were you doing? Meeting in a motel room, Ron. Damn it, Angie. Either you trust me or you don't. Kenny, put the goddamn gun down. You are lying to me. Look, if you're so sure that I was screwing this bitch, why didn't you just knock on the door and come in and catch me in the act? I'll tell you why. Because you knew that I was working, damn it! Fuck! Angela, you would go through this over and over again. Work my ass off to support you and the kids, and this is how you thank me? You show up here and you make me look like an ass in front of Kenny? Not to mention the security breach? You just opened a whole can of worms, baby. You're not supposed to know about this place, remember? I told you, I told you, baby, it had to stay a secret between us. What are you doing to me? Angie, Angie. You don't want to do this, okay? Okay. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Okay. Come here. Come here. You take your meds today? Yes. You sure? Huh? I think so. Take it. Where were the kids? They're at home. You left the kids at home? Fuck me, Angie! You can't leave those kids alone! You take it now. Take it now, right now. Okay. Get in the car. I want you to go home. I want you to go home and take care of the kids, okay? I will be home as soon as I can, all right? Now listen to me. Listen to me, Angie, look at me. Listen to me. If you send those pictures to this woman's husband, you're gonna get me killed. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. You go home. Come on, Angie. I'm just Angie. Kidding. Angie, you go home and you look after our kids, okay? Okay. Shut up. Oh, whatever. Bro. I'm just saying. What? what? What are you just saying? What are you saying? If you want to say something, just say it. I said it. Good. Then shut up, because I don't want to hear it, OK? Minding my own business. That's right. Thank you very Keep much. Keep my mouth shut. Appreciate it. Well, are we going to go or what? You want to ruin your life. I don't give a shit. Seriously? What, you're my father now? Again, I'm just saying. Oh, we're starting that again. We're in 20 minutes. It's the only good thing about working weekends. Light traffic. Right, right.
Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. To all of us. Now to me, you're a citizen, I can apply for you and the kids. You come and go as we please. That's great news. That's great news. Uh, are we expecting company? Yes, yes I asked Paul and Janice to join us for lunch. Uh, Is that okay? Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, congratulations! It's so exciting! Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Very good. Went ahead and made some brownies. Oh, wow. So good. They're not good. Please, come on. Please, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I'll get some iced tea. Mm -hmm. So you feel any different? Different? You know, being an American citizen now. Oh, yeah, it means the world to me. I've been an American at heart ever since I was a little kid, though. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, because I keep telling Paul that immigrants are so much more right, appreciative that, right. to live in the U.S. Yeah. than most Americans. Well, we take it for granted. Yeah, mm. and it's no wonder so many nations don't like us. Yeah. Isn't that right, Sabria? Mm. We're just glad for all that God has given us. Mm. I, I don't condone this, but when people have no hope inside, they tend to envy those which have so much opportunity to prosper. We just right. we should just be more appreciative for what we have. Yeah, and Tariq's right. We should help underdeveloped nations, mm -hmm. you know, give them hope, educate them, prove that we have good intentions. Right? I mean, share the wealth. Yeah, and then maybe not everyone will want to kill us. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Nobody wants to kill a mannequin, Janice. Yes. Okay, I'm not saying that, but... Oh. That's not what I meant. Uh, right. Here's to uh, education, education okay. and redistribution of wealth. How about we drink to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Cheers. Popular place today, huh? Excuse oh, me. Okay. okay. Oh, wow, someone else can eat? Oh. <laughs> Very exciting. Really exciting. Oh, I, I like the kids do Hey, got your pizza. Sabria, did you order a pizza? No. Sorry, pal. Wrong apartment. It's just to be. Maybe prank call? Sorry. <laughs> you sure you didn't order a pizza? Tariq, I cook chicken pilau. Mm. Sounds good to me. Yeah, and it smells great too. Mm -hmm. I... What's chicken pilau? I don't know. You want, don't you know. want pizza? Like it. it smells pretty good. Mm. You're just like your kids. Nobody uh, <laughs> like like goes to the celebration. American citizenship, American food. Sounds reasonable. Mm -hmm. Pizza's right. Italian. <laughs> Go get it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A moment. It's a celebration, it's a celebration right? It's a celebration. You're still eating the chicken pilaf. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're very excited mm -hmm. about it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. That pizza's still hot. Congratulations. What do you think in coming to my apartment? You never, ever come near my family or my home. You got that? You cut off communication with me all of a sudden. Who's I supposed to do? Who's I talking to you? I have my reasons. I had to lay low until I got my citizenship. You know what that means? With American passport, I can move freely across the border. Well, I need you here to take care of things when I'm away. You can count on me, okay? You just gotta tell me what to do. Yeah, I got word from those that walked with the tall one. Your name is mentioned in high circles. They were asking if you're ready for the rain. There's a dry run scheduled for today. I need to know if we're still on for tomorrow. Yes, instructions are clear. You cannot deviate from the schedule. Did you get the people across? I was able to get 12. But it's getting more and more dangerous. We gotta recruit more locals. Let me worry about recruitment. Did you get the weapons? Nick Kotov is making a delivery at the warehouse this afternoon at five. Good. You're a hard worker. You'll be a hero among your people. Once the eyes and ears of your countrymen open wide, they will see the truth. Things gonna have to change, brother. And they will. Our army's already in the belly of the enemy. The enemy is not the great people of this nation, Tariq. The enemy is the institution that has been running this country to the ground for decades. 
Your enemy is my enemy. It's time for us to take the fight to the... Go. Be the voice of your people. Carry out our plan. Swap out intel in Yosef's apartment. Here we go. The rainy season is officially upon the city of angels. When the rain stops, it pours. Are you fucking kidding me with this stuff? Right. I guess the intel was right. Get ready for the pouring rain the day before it pours. Well, City of Angels, obviously Los Angeles. Yeah, it hardly rains in Los Angeles. The rainy season starts in October. October through April. The last day is April 15th. And today is April 14th. They say get ready the day before it pours. So if the day it pours, it stops on the 15th. Today is the day before. Check out the maps. Look at this. They're doing a dry run today, the day before. Son of a bitch is scoping out the areas he plans to attack. Tomorrow, the 15th. Commander? You have tactical, John. Get it done. Yes, ma'am. Alex, let's go.
Alex, why don't you drop the gear and take a closer look? We have a second guy on the scooter. Alex, we gotta shoot everyone. Move now, now, move! Federal agent, get down! to do this, okay? Look at me. Look at me. I'm putting my weapon away, you hear me? You don't need to do this. What, do, what, what can we do for you? You have a family. I have a beautiful son. I want to see him again. No, keep your hand away from the trigger. You hear me? Keep your hand away from the trigger. Don't do this. Don't do this. kids and go. Go? Where? There's money in here and an address where you're going to take the kids. You two, get out. What? I don't, I don't know. Tariq? You two, get out! Hey, Tariq, hey, stop! What's going on? Hey, 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 don't, hey don't open your eyes and look up to see what's going on. Tariq, stop it! Tariq, get your hands out right Oh my god. Out. Go to your room. Go to your room, please, okay? Go to your room, I'll be right there, okay? Listen to what I'm telling you. You have to take the kids and go. Tariq, what have you done? Tariq, no. We have a life here. 
Think of our kids. Tariku. Now. I have people to answer to. I can't stop it. Take care of our kids. Go! Go! You'd come. I almost didn't. You probably think I'm silly texting you all the time. I turn 18, you know. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Where's your dad? Church. And then lunch with my mom and my sisters. Did you go with them? I did, but, um,. I drove my car and told him I wasn't feeling well. So, um, I was thinking maybe we could go to your place again, you know, listen to music, whatever. About that, I'm not sure it was a good idea hanging out. Why? Well, for starters, I'm older than you. Just a couple years. There's a lot of things you don't know about me. Like what? Uh, Katie, something happened. What? It's your uncle. My uncle? Is he dead? Don't know. Well, what happened? I don't know, just... What do you mean you don't know? You were with him, right? Well, yeah. I told you to stay away from my dad and Nick. I was just riding with him, Katie. I don't know what that means. You were riding with him to do what? You think I don't know what my dad does for a living? It's not what you think. You're a bad liar, Alex. Hang out with my dad and you'll get better at it. Go inside. I've been trying to call you. How did it happen? We were getting rid of Dimitri. Cops rolled in on us. Nick opened up on the cops. Cops dead? I think so. 
Nick? I don't know, Mr. Colton. Look, I stayed as long as I could. Call 911. You call 911. Let me see your phone. Mr. Kotov, I know this is hard. You don't know shit, you got that? When your brother gets started in the middle of the street, then he can talk to me about her feelings. Hey, Mike. Helen. Oh, Mike. Um, by the way, you know, I hate asking friends for favors, but is that sales position still open at your dealership? You need a job, Helen? Oh, no, not for me, for a friend. A friend? A friend of a friend. Have your friend call me on Tuesday. Okay. The girl's on site. Thanks. Let's go. Something doesn't feel right. Whatever this bad feeling is, Mr. Cortez, it should have nothing to do with me. I tried to watch Nick's back. You know that. Drop your pants. Drop your pants, goddammit, and lift up your shirt. Turn around. Keep turning. All right. You gave up, Dimitri. You saved me a lot of trouble, but don't think you have a free ride from that one. I expect a free ride, Mr. Kotov. And one more thing. I saw the way my daughter was looking at you. I get it. But if you break my little girl's heart, I'll kill you. Find out what you do, Nick. It's 417. I'm supposed to make a delivery by five. Nick told me about the drop off. We're seeing Nick first. Harper, LA Field Office. Hey, listen, I need open line authorization to SACCOM. So tap into a private feed. Give me a break, Burroughs. It's one damn SACCOM line. Deputy Regional Commander is standing right next to me. Did you want to tell her about your shortage? Thank you. Kotov's moving. Logan's with him. I think they're headed to the hospital. Run and Ken follow you? You're about a block behind. Good. It's the hospital. SIU, Harper. How are they doing? What do you mean it looks like all three will recover? Nicola's alive. Kotas Mercedes just got to the hospital. for Nikolai Korov. Are you relative? I'm his brother. I'm sorry, sir, but the police said your brother can't have visitors. How is he doing? Like I is, said... Is he gonna be okay? He's stable and the doctors are optimistic that he'll be fine. Is that his room? He's sedated. Sir, excuse me, but you cannot go in there! It's not the time or place to do this. All right. I'll be back.
traffic was horrible on the 405. Yeah, but we got plenty of excitement around here to keep things interesting. I heard it on the news. <laughs> we got the cops. And the suspect. See that big guy over there? He's some fancy government agent. He won't let anybody in except for the doctors and us. It's been about two hours. Went on round soap. Looks like it's about to come again. Thanks for covering for me. No problem. I gotta get out of here. I got sick boys on. Sorry. Yeah, I'm Nurse Agnes, covering for Nurse Stevens. Nurse, I don't see a phone. I need a phone. I don't think they want you to have one. There's a government agent outside your door. Your brother probably thinks I'm dead. I can't help you with that. I just, I just wanted to know that I'm alive. You need a rest now. Nurse. Not a phone, a text, please. And I'm so to make a mess. Are we ready? I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of something. I'm sorry, babe. Okay, tell your mom I'm sorry. I can't do this right now, okay? I, I will see you later on tonight. Babe? Babe? Babe, I will see you later on tonight. John? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. How are we doing? Uh, Ron and Ken are on Kotov's tail, air support is ready, and we've got verbal approval for a federal search warrant. We have a location for where this is going now? I am working on that. Reader. Yeah. I need you to be here, okay? I need your head to be in the job 100%. No problem, sir. Okay, so get that location and send the coordinates. I'm on it. Okay, I'll see you in the uh, command center. Two thousand feet altitude. Last coordinates we got from Alex's phone were thirty-four degrees north, hundred eighteen degrees west. Where is that exactly? Somewhere near Santa Clarita. Predator is ten minutes away. I'm sending you the coordinates. Take us to five thousand feet, Rita. You want to check him as Ron and Ken's coordinates? Let's make sure they line up with Alex. Okay. You got it.
Are you Nick? Mike. Mike. I have the crates in the car. You have said he was dealing with Nick. Yes, right. I'm his brother. Where's Nick? Where's Yusuf? How about if I go back and uh, come back later and start over again? Who's he talking to? Give me a minute. I promise I'll talk to him as soon as I get off work. What are you doing? You want to get us killed? Who the hell are you talking to? My mother. Hey, hold on, hold on, Mom. She's upset. I had a fight with my father. Let me talk to her. She's really upset. I'm sure she's fucking devastated. Let me talk to her. Okay. Mom, I'm going to give you off to my uh, boss. His name's Mikhail. Hello. Who's this? I hear you hear the fight with your husband. Hmm. Hmm. I'll talk to you later, okay, Mom? I didn't catch your mother's name. Elena. Look at the crates. Are you okay? We're making the delivery right now. Kotov caught Alex. Oh, oh, shit. I think that they bought the mom's story. Hold on. Zoom into that side room. It looks like a training camp. Son of a bitch. You got Nick shot. I tried to stop him. On your knees. I tried to stop him from killing a cop. Don't On do On your this. knees. John, did you get that last transmission? Yeah, I got it. John, Unit 15 is standing by. Send SWAT in. Unit 15, have them move in. Lieutenant, finger on the trigger. Yes, sir, we're standing by. You don't want to do this, you're going to ruin the deal with them.
doing all right? Sorry, you took the heat from me, man. Yeah, point is we got him, right? Someone's still out there. Yeah. But we got the guns. Cut up their head. It's gonna take them a while to gear up again. A lot of people died today. Yeah, they did. You know, people die every day, Alex. It's how you handle it that matters. You know, I, uh, had this a while. Here. Works better for me than whiskey. Thanks. I'm not a religious man. Hey, come on, give me time. You know what they say. There's no atheist in a foxhole. You've been under a while. You stay clean. Clean? You know, come those people follow you home, know where you live, where you hang out. I can't think of anything. No, man. I'm good. Put it back on, Alex. Off duty. I know. Humor me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you actually like that kid. Well, it's a good kid. <laughs> Why the Kotov brothers are still alive, I don't think he's safe. Yeah. So it's the right thing to do, right? I just gave him some pain medication, so he's probably still sleeping. His brother's in the OR. Which um, room? Oh, it's in. Oh, that's weird. There was a guard just outside his door a few minutes ago. Two units of ONAG, Dr. Lee.
Angela. Angie. Angie. Angela. This is Special Agent Thomas. I need an ambulance. Home address. Thank you. Oh, Angie. Angela. Earlier today, an apparent terrorist plot was squashed by a covert national security task force. Today's shootout with federal agents is believed to be tied in with the shooting deaths of two Arizona Border Patrol officers late Friday night. Our thanks go out to the men and women of the armed forces and law enforcement communities who dedicate their lives to keep this great nation safe from foreign and domestic threats. Doctors say that my dad might not make it. My mom had a nervous breakdown. I had no one else to go to. I'm sorry. So what are you? Some sort of cop? Or spy or something? I know you're going to. I, I didn't want you to get hurt. Did you shoot him? Not exactly. Not exactly. And how does that work? It's Where we hung out that afternoon? Do you even live there? It's not like that. Oh no? Then what was it like? Maybe you can explain to me how any of this makes any sense. You know what's crazy? When I found out that my dad got shot, I immediately thought of you. I prayed that you were gonna be okay. And then I rushed over here, just hoping that you were gonna come home in one piece. Sorry. So that's it then. Whatever you had to do. It's over.
Sal, I guess, uh, I just... I guess I just didn't really want to talk, but, um... I just wanted to say that I'm really glad that you're all right. <laughs>